What's going on, hip hop fans? Welcome to another edition of Hip Hop Head. My name is Julian Williams, and actually, I was supposed to do Paul Wall earlier this week, but I, was, I haven't been unable to listen to the whole entire album yet. So I'm going to do one I actually heard, and I would listen to this at work a couple times Rick Ross, Teflon Don. Now, this is his fourth album, and something that's going to stand out on this album is of an overabundance of guest appearances. Um, all kinds of rappers appear in this record Jay Z, T.I., Styles P, Jada Kiss. Kanye West, Drake had kind of a singing part on on his um song Aston Martin Music. Same with Chrisette Michelle, and also Kanye West. So, what do I think of this record? Overall, I think that the record I'll give it a three out of five. I'm and I'm gonna give it a three out of five because Rick Ross isn't really showcasing himself and because of all the guest appearances on the record and he's showing and really with this record with all the guest appearances he's not really holding this album together on his own it's more like featuring it, it has a feel like featuring Ice Cube back in like 1997 when you know all the songs were just featuring Ice Cube and in this, pretty much on this whole record like 10 songs or excuse me, 11 songs, 10 of the songs have guest appearances. And also something that's going to stand out is on these guest appearances, these artists are out doing Rick Ross on his own records. It's it's like, you know, Eminem on Renegade. Or, or even, there's another song I can't really think of at the moment where, you know, the artist just got outdone on the record. And, and another one's actually, I could say Eminem on Forever was another one where you know the person got done or whatever but that's really on some in a few of these guest appearances that's what happened on um, Freemason Maybach music part three um blowing money fast you know all those records you know Rick Ross just got outdone by Jay-Z T.I. Jadakiss and Styles P on all these records and Aston Martin music if you listen to the I guess the original verse from Drake, Drake actually did a very good job and actually did much better than Rick Ross on this, on that track, on the original track. But Drake's verse was taken out, and maybe it was, ta maybe it was because of that. Who knows? But you know, he put the other, you know, the other verses that just outdid him on on the record. You know, he might as well just put Drake on there. So anyway, onto the record. The record starts out with a very high, very up tempo. I'm not a star, and and Rick Ross came in and he had a lot of energy on that record. He had a lot of energy coming in that record. Builds up great anticipation and shows you know shows great um lyrical um I mean not great good lyrical um is a good lyrical um matter. But you know, he just shows you know a lot of high energy, it's kind of similar to LL back in the day when LL was very energetic and kind of got people into the songs using the energy, and that's kind of the feel that I got with "I'm Not a Star." Use that energy to get people into the record, which is a good way to start off Teflon Don. So we go into Freemason. Freemason Rick Ross has you know a couple has a couple good verses, but Jay Z comes in at the at the end and just has a has a great verse. And just simply outdoes him. Just you know, just um, you know, and you know, um, Rick Ross. I just thought should just stepped his game up, especially since he has another song with Jay Z. And you know, he might as well just step his game up on this song. But Jay Z just outdid him, man. Jay Z is one of the best rap artists of all time. So, so I was thinking, you know, maybe because Jay Z was one of the best of all time, you know, maybe third or fourth best, then. You know, might as well just let him, you know, keep the verse on the record. So we go to the next record. The next record was Tears of Joy. I was, that was a, that was an okay record. That was another high, I felt was a little high energy record. I like Tears of Joy. Um, and then, you know, and that was more, more of kind of, you know, a little inspiration behind it as well. And also we go to Maybach Music Part 3. Maybach Music. I like, I've actually liked the like the the Maybach music tracks. I like um, personally I like Maybach music one. That's 
perhaps my favorite out of the three, but Maybach Music 3 was was very good. It had T.I. and Jadakiss on this one. T.I. and Jadakiss, they, I believe both outdid Rick Ross on this specific record, but Rick Ross you know, was, was game on this record. You know he was pretty. You know he was game on his record. He he did step it up a bit, but I just like I just personally like T.I. and Jada Kiss's verses much better on Maybach Music Part Three. So we go to so what is the next song? Um, after Maybach Music Three, it is Live Fast Die Young with Kanye West. Actually, I wasn't a fan of Kanye West's verse on this record on Live Fast Die Young. Rick Ross. I believe he did a pretty good job on Live Fast Die Young. So, you know, overall good track. Super High featuring Neo. Um the first single. I believe it's the first official single from the album because I know Blow Blowing Money Fast was a promotional single. Well with Super High, I do like Super High. Not not necessarily my favorite song on the record, but kind of a more you kinda of get, you know, it has kind of an old school feel to it, but you know, I like um, I like Neil's on the kind of on the chorus. So anyway, um, super high, decent track, and then this is, and this is when the record kind of starts to go down a little bit after super high, because you know number one wasn't much of a fan. Number one, um, MC Hammer wasn't much of a fan of MC Hammer. I thought I thought MC Hammer was a ridiculous song. Um, I like I did kind of like blowing, I like Blowing Money Fast but I like Styles P ver verse on there Styles P did a very good job just out doing them on that track and then I believe it was it was um, Aston Martin Music which was the 10th song on the record I do like As Aston Martin Music it was one of my favorite actually one of my favorite tracks on there but I did like you know if you guys get a chance check out Paris Morton Music which is which features you know Drake's original track and Drake did an excellent job on this track I'm not much of a fan of Drake's singing because it's very monotone it's just you know um, a straight line on the tonal scale but but you know overall you know Drake I guess you know Drake did a pretty good job on the chorus chorus of that record but you know overall I just wish that I wish that um, the Drake verse could have made it to the album and then the last one um, All the Money in the World I did. I did kind of like that one. I liked all the money in the world. Um, kind of a track um, where you kind of understand where he's coming from, and talks about you know life and and all that stuff. So I do rate this a three out of five. I rate it a three out of five because I wish that you know just because of all the guest appearances, and other than the guest appearances, you know he just got outdone by by artists that were guests on the guests on his tracks. And I'm, for me, I'm, I am glad that he got Styles P. I think Styles P is underrated, and but I do hate that he took the Drake, you know, the Drake verse out of Aston Martin music. I hate that he did that because, or whoever, you know, put the record together did did that because Drake had a really good verse on Aston Martin music. So anyway, guys, I got give it a three out of five, um, and I, and it could and it could be like a. Maybe a three and a half, four, if there just wasn't so many appearances. Because the songs on the record, the songs on the record, you know, just seem to be to have good ideas behind them, except for you know, number one, MC Hammer. But overall, you know, decent record from Rick Ross. Just me, I can't really take what Rick Ross says seriously, because you know he used to be a you know a, a police officer from what I know, but. I just can't, t and I guess maybe it's that I just can't take him seriously, and it's just, that's just me. So, anyway, guys, thanks for checking checking um, this review out, and until the next time, peace.